Hey art students, uh, I'm excited to share with you some of the work of one of my favorite artists, Keith Haring. What I like about Keith Haring is that he's very uh, fun and playful with his images and pictures. And they're pretty simple. And that's what I like about it. It's almost like a language that he creates different pictures and kind of moves them around and arranges them to tell different simple stories. Um, so let's get started so you can see what I'm talking about and I can't wait to see what you make. All right, art students. So we are looking at one of uh, the most playful, fun artists that I've ever seen. And his name is Keith Haring. And he makes very simple shapes. And I'm gonna show you how to make a picture using some of the shapes and the characters that he uses. Um, and there will be available to you guides uh, for how to draw and examples of his work and how to draw his work. And I want you to create a, an original picture using the Keith Haring uh, style of telling stories. So I'm gonna start with a person and he kind of draws people with like, just kind of a head like this and then he will move their arms in different ways. And I'm gonna draw some dancing people and there's no real like ground to them. Like they can, be up in the air, they can be turned around. Uh, depends on where uh, you think they are. If you wanna add ground uh, to where they are, you can do that. There's also a lot of motion lines. Uh, one thing that he likes to do is put a little spaceship sometimes, and he'll draw a little spaceship with like a, a dome here, and then a curved line like this, and a couple lines out with a curved line underneath, and then kind of these lines down. Here, I'm gonna fix this little mistake. And then sometimes he has like these little like little beams coming out. And you get to decide what the meaning of his pictures are. And I'm gonna draw this little spaceship, but then he has this dog character that has these rectangles that come out with a kind of an M for the ears, and a line, and a couple other rectangles for the feet another line going this way and then the same kind of repeated form and then a tail all right and sometimes lines coming out like the dog is barking and so who, i mean this could be a ufo coming to take the dog and someone dancing or someone trying to get other people's attention um but i'm going to draw another person here and again if you want to you can use mine and make a similar image, or you can make your own. Right. I'm gonna add some more motion lines. Well, remember, our artist name is Keith Herring. Let's see what else can I add. Oh, you know what? He sometimes he has this little baby that he draws, and I'm gonna put the baby here. Kind of still that human head, but then there's. Kind of hands with kind of not real fingers but kind of bumps there and then he'll put something like this you know put a little diaper on the baby all right so this is one way you can do it and then you color it in let me show you how to color it. use bright colors use uh, a dark outline so i will get an outline and outline all the shapes Now I'm going to speed up the coloring, but we use solid colors here, okay? I'm going to make the background eventually, I'm going to make that yellow, but I'm going to color in everything else, these bright colors. Okay, so here's my Keith Haring drawing. Um, you can use this as an example for what you would like to do. Um, but I'm going to show you some other uh, styles for how Keith Haring did his people, his dogs, his UFOs, his babies, other creatures, other uh, people, and dancing and moving scenes. And I want you to make your own picture, use bright colors when you color it in, and I think it's going to look pretty great. I look forward to seeing what you do. Bye.